If you're looking for reliable money drop services for GTA Online, look no further than Digizani, where they offer many, many services. Just be sure to use code JACO for 5% off at checkout. Rockstar has made it very, very apparent that GTA Online isn't going anywhere. And I, like myself, and probably much of the community, really has a problem with some of the new content that is added to GTA Online nowadays. For example, last week the service carbine finally dropped after waiting for it for like a month, five, six weeks or whatever, which was incredibly disappointing, but it was really worth it when we finally got it. Which, of course, was an absolute shit show. Rockstar didn't officially say anything about how long you gotta stay in these sessions, what type of sessions you gotta stay in, where to look, really. The community figured it out pretty quick, but as a content creator and some people that really, really wanna get it quick and be the first to get it, it's really hard to put out a guide or any sort of content on this service rifle carbine when you can't even get it. It's all up to pretty much luck and just waiting around and there's no really just, oh, go here and get it or do a mission and get it. And it's really, really disappointing and it's just really, really obnoxious to rely on luck and RNG to get this little blue dot to pop up on your map. It's, it's just way too frustrating nowadays. The max public session is 30 people, which is still not not a whole lot. I've seen RP RP servers, you know, reach a thousand, but that's not what I'm saying. Like, there is so much going on in these sessions nowadays that adding more free roam stuff and just more random events is just making it so overwhelming. There are now hundreds of these random events and stranger events that happen throughout the world of GTA Online, and it is very, very quite overwhelming. If I were a brand new player in GTA Online and I came across these things, I'd be like, well, what the hell is this? Is this worth it? Is this worth, you know, even doing? Is it, Does it get me money? Does it get me RP? It's not very clear what some of these things even do other than give you money and RP, but is it worth your time? Probably not. Just like the ammunition gun store, the stock is getting a bit full and we gotta optimize the GTA Online free roam map into not putting brand new content that takes RNG and these random events to get, like the service carbine. You know, put that in a mission or a contact mission, put it behind, you know, just something else that isn't, you know, free roam because there's hundreds of collectibles. They just added a new LD Organics Hunter collectibles. So there's just even more shit in the free roam lobbies and with you know 30 person public sessions people griefing people modding people you know obviously you can go into private sessions but that kind of takes the fun out of gta online and just makes a gta 5 online single player but i prefer to be in private sessions nowadays especially on pc but you know i digress that's not the point with all the business things going on heist prep equipment moving around but you know there's just business battles there's so much going on in these gt online sessions and making something rng based luck based and throwing that into the random crapshoot that is free rump sessions nowadays is just a bad idea I spent half a day getting the service carbine, and every time I was flying around in my jet or my helicopter, I'd see a, strange, um, a random event pop up, and I would look on the map, and it'd be an export, exotic export vehicle, or a smuggler plane, or a random drug car drop, or the, the Keo Perico guard, or something. I just have a problem with it really being RNG, but putting new content in free roam sessions is just a bad idea. Instead, I think what they should do, if they're going to make you earn a new car, or earn a new gun, or earn a new upgrade for this or that in the future, I think they should put it behind a mission or a, you know, a sort of contract, contact mission, sorry, in a, in a way. The ECU job that you do for the auto shop is a good example. Like, uh, Moody Man, he tells you to go and get these ECU so he can upgrade his car. I think having missions like that, we can actually earn something, like earn the new service carbine by doing this and doing like this little robbery and you gotta steal or collect them all, would just be more satisfying to do than just, I mean, <laughs> just sitting around in sessions for hours and hours and hours on end. Some people still probably don't have the damn thing and they've been sitting in sessions since. Like the house special vehicle time trial sort of thing. You go to a set location and you do this little time trial race and then you earn the new thing or new upgrade or new weapon or new car or whatever the hell you're getting. I think they should stick to things more like that where they're set locations, set times, set missions for some of this new stuff because throwing it all into free room is starting to get obnoxious and it's not, it's not very optimized anymore. It's just not, not good. 
And like I said before, I don't mind if it's a set thing, like you have to go here to get it, like the treasure maps or like the collectibles, you know? It is in one set location, you go there, you get it, and you never have to pick it up ever again. You don't have to wait 20 or 30 minutes in a lobby. But having it come to RNG and just sitting around AFK, it was just one of the lowest and dumbest ideas Rockstar's ever had for a new piece of content in GTA Online. And that's on, and they've released Arena War in the Doomsday Heist, which was, I mean, the Doomsday Heist itself was just an absolute disaster when it came to the actual missions and the gameplay of it, but I digress. Anyways, this is my little rant for today. Rockstar, you gotta do something to optimize this new content more. Don't throw them into free roam lobbies, please. <laughs> There's already enough going on. Put them in contact missions or set them behind something that isn't just free roam or public lobbies. But uh, yeah, that's really all I had to say. I'm curious what you guys think down below in the comments, so let me know, of course. And uh, with that being said, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.